Hello and welcome to the Impact Show. It's Monday and that means one thing, it's time to fix your golf swing with the Impact Show. Pierce, what do we have in store? Andy, we're going to show you how all of this stuff here is going to help you strike the golf ball better than ever and get rid of that shank. Ooh. Let's take charge of your game. Okay, so welcome to a beautiful sunny morning here at the Asprey and it's Monday and that means it's the Impact Show and this is where we answer questions on your golf swing to help create more impact in your game. It sure is guys, don't forget get involved today, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, go there, use the hashtag Impact Show and hopefully we'll be answering your questions. We've had loads again this, uh, this, this time, thank you so much for that. Yes, definitely. And also if you haven't already guys, make sure you check us out on Periscope to allow you to see us live. We're going to do some live Q&As and stuff on there, but also uh, Snapchat as well guys, make sure you go and get that and follow us on Snapchat for some behind the scenes footage of what we're going to be doing. Right, okay, Impact Show Pierce. Um, this one's a good one, all to do with ball striking right, okay. through Facebook. And this is from Darren G saying, um, do you have any hints on moving the strike on the face? Uh, my bad shot is a shank, uh, but my, sh my standard shot is at the heel. So right. um, for the guys at home, Pierce, a shank. What is a shank? We don't really want a shank, but let's just talk about a it. A shank is very painful sometimes because it hurts to hit the vibrations at the shaft, but the shank is when you hit the golf ball in the heel of the golf club or the hose of the golf club, should I say. So the hose all there, it hits the pipe. It can go in any direction because it can come off the side and go that way, that way, that way. And the heel strike is when it comes out of this part of the club here, so right next to the hosel. So heel strikes, uh, you can get away with them, they can be quite nice sometimes, yeah. but the hosel strikes, this, it's game over. Yeah, and you know what, this is an important one, because a lot of people, a lot of students of ours, Pierce, as well, will get them there, and they think they're striking it good. Mm -hmm. They think they hit a good shot, yeah. and we'll look on the face, and it can be at the, the heel or even the toe. So for you guys who've not really done this, or even had the awareness of where you're doing it, make sure you go and do this today and find out where your strike pattern is. I think it's really important. Yeah, you'll, 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 know, I mean, you'll, you'll know about the shank when you get it but as Andy said there if you can scatter the club the shots across the face the golf clubs are really good now but if you get it out of the center you're definitely going to help improve the game. Definitely. Okay right so equipment you need some equipment for this so Pierce what do we need? Yeah you need to hit the pause button after I tell you what to get go back to the car or drive home you need ideally some impact tapes they're really good so you can get these online if you can't get that you can get some got some Dr. Scholl's foot spray here so you can use that spray that on the face and it leaves a mark an imprint you need a head cover you need an alignment stick you need a golf club too, and some club. golf balls. Yes, definitely. Right. Useful. Okay, so right. with that equipment, we're ready to go. So first of all, we're going to really show you guys, if you're struggling with the shank or even the heel strike, we're going to show you guys, first of all, what it's going to be causing from and go through some simple checkpoints that you can sort of go through within the golf swing and then some simple ways to fix it. So first of all, we always have to start with this Pierce setup. Okay. What could be causing the heel strike in the setup? Okay, so we see that, um, and you'll see why we talk about, when we talk about this later, when we talk about the actual movement of the swing, but distance from the golf ball. Sometimes people can be too close. Some pe sometimes people can be too far away. This can really sort of get into the mix of causing you to hit the ball across the face in different places. Okay. So distance from the golf ball could be an issue. So you could be too close or you could be too far away. The next one is how we put the weight. So how do we balance the weight through our toes, our heels and our middle? So some people may be too much onto their toes. And a lot of people are in this position don't even realize it. Yep. Then you may be too much on your heels. And you can see, when you start mixing up toes and heels and, and distance from the golf ball, you're just not in a balanced position. So what we need to do is give you a drill which is going to get you balanced. Okay, so let's talk about that. What is that drill? Okay, so an alignment stick or a golf club works pretty good. So placing that onto the ground. Now you have to sort of mess around a little bit with this. Luckily, this is all placed out. So the first thing I would say is put the alignment stick on the ground pretty much parallel to your target. And then we're going to get you to stand on it so that the weight is going through the arch. So, sorry, so the alignment stick is going right underneath the arches. So on these three striped shoes here, pretty much the middle stripe yep. is going to be the place to put this, okay? So what you're doing now is, so I've got that right through the middle. Now you can adjust. Can, you can go to your toes. You can go to your heels. And you're going to feel this as you're doing this. And then your job is to settle in the middle, to find the one in the middle with so, that. So we want that even split between heel and toes. We don't necessarily want to be on the balls of the feet because that's going to take weight off the heels. This arches is a nice neutral place to be. And it's going to help that you then get into a position, Pierce, where you are balanced. And when, when you are balanced, that makes a massive difference on just finding the sweet spot. Without doubt, without doubt. So now, that, assuming that I've got that balance point right in my feet, I can then obviously take the rest of my posture, hopefully that 
posture is going to be good and then allowing those arms to sort of hang from your body and then take your grip now look at look at that the ball was there it's in exactly the right place maybe i did that before so if you're at the range and you're going hang on a bit the ball isn't in the right place drag the ball into the right place and go right okay yep i can i can work it out from there and you may need a mirror behind to test this out or even a video camera just to get you into this position. So we've got a good hip hinge there. We've got a nice sort of softening of the legs and the weight is through the arches of the feet. Arms are hanging down. You are now ready to go, but that's not all you need to do. We need to swing the golf club. Was, I wish it was that simple. So there's generally um, a couple of faults that we see with the with the shank pierce or the heel strike. Yep. Now when we, when we heel the golf club or when we shank it, really all that's happening is the golf club is moving further away from you Correct. and and we generally see two main faults that that, that cause this pierce yep. so let's just talk about those okay so we'll go with one we call early extension first of all so i'm going to take my setup and assuming even if we've got a great setup you can still early extend so early extension happens i'm just going to get my analysis line in there early extension happens then when from the top of the backswing the lower body thrusts towards the golf ball now you can see if my lower body thrusts towards the golf ball there's not a lot of room for my arms to swing into. So my arms are pushed out, and as you can see here, I'm promoting the heel of the golf club into that golf ball. Okay, so just show us exactly what we'd like to see then okay. from there. So what we'd like to see is that from the, from the top of the backswing, as the lower body engages and moves and drives towards the target, that the lower body stays back. And you can see there's a heck of a lot more room and look at that, Andy, that's a toe strike there. And actually. it looks, you can see how sort of Pierce is staying in a better posture down through impact there. But like you say, he's creating the room then so he can swing through and not sort of cramping up and, and getting the club thrusting away. Okay, a common one that is, and you can okay. see even the weight came towards the balls of the feet there Absolutely, as well, as we yeah. talked about. Okay, the next one. Okay, next one is the over the top. We talk about this all the time. So again, if we got my swing plane line in here, so over the top happens if you don't know what this is, when the club head swings down over the top of the swing plane line, and you can see what's happening here. My hands and the arms and club are moving away from my body. There's a big gap between my arms and my body now, and there's that golf club again, potentially, be, uh, hitting the golf ball out the heel. Yep, so there's another big one there. That club again is moving towards, my, towards me, in the downswing and the heel again, like you're saying, is being pushed that way. So both of those faults are generally what we see from a from a you know the common things in terms of the swing force that cause that heel strike. So I think the important thing is we need to really then create a fix that's going to help both. So we've got a great drill that we use here that, that does help train both. If you're going to come over the top or, or early extend, you're going to know about it and it's just going to help train a, a more centre strike. Okay, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. And with the head cover down here, what I am going to do, Andy, this is an interesting one. I'm actually going to hit a shot. We don't often do this. I'm going to try and come over the top. I'm going to early extend a little bit. I'm going to see if, see if I actually get one coming out of the heel okay. or even I get a shank. Oh, should I be doing that? It's quite cold. <laughs> I don't want to hurt my fingers, Andy. No, no one on the right, over the right. So no you one, yeah, you don't care. You want me to hurt my fingers <laughs> absolutely okay so i'm gonna take i'm gonna take a setup where i maybe go onto my toes there we go i'm gonna go onto my toes and i'm gonna early extend and come over the top i could fall over okay i mean i nearly fell over and actually the shot wasn't too bad but as you can see there right out the heel okay so right out of the heel there so th that's that's okay on that shot yeah but if i go it. if i go a centimeter to the left of that i'm shanking it and definitely that big, big steep divot as well steep there, divot to the, the left the look at that so yeah so i mean there's a great example there the shot wasn't too bad but the strike wasn't particularly very yeah. good i wouldn't but want to do too many of those swings i think i'd be ingraining that shank pretty definitely quickly not. right okay so here's the drill then so if you take your setup pierce this is how we're going to set it up we're going to place the cover just behind the golf ball here so just outside the target line just behind the golf ball literally leaving no room so if Pierce was to move the hosel forward, then he's obviously going to hit the cover. Now, if Pierce now does the early extension move or the over the top, guess what? He's going to hit that cover and he's going to know about it because obviously it's going to affect the shot. So yeah. this is going to train now. This is this negative feedback that we talk about so much that we, it's going to train more of a centered strike because he's going to really get the club into a better position where it's going to get closer to you on the way down. Yeah. Piss, and we, we like to actually, you know, obviously we spoke about over the top and early extension. You'll be thinking, well, how do I work at those? Well, do you know what? Let's put the head cover down first of all, get you hitting some shots and that in itself can actually make you on the way down, bring the arms down here more as opposed to out there. So stopping there over the top and it may actually make, make the pelvis stay back a little bit more. We know there's a lot more things could be causing this, but this is the first step and this is a great step if you're playing golf the next day definitely and danny for you who's, who's, who's getting that heel strike or even that shank you know a toe strike would be heaven at the moment so you know when we're doing this sort of drill and trying to trying to get this contact we want to see if we can actually find the toe because if you can find the toe then it's easy to bring you back to the middle for isn't sure. it and, 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 and you hitting the ball out of the toe for a while will feel like heaven for sure right, right okay. so have a go um see if i can get that let's out see the toe, if we yeah? can hit one at the toe at the toe 
Oh, there we go. That had to be out the toe. It's a nice shot. And it's gone a little right as well, which you'll see that. Generally, if you hit out the toe, it's going to go to the right. Yep. And when you hit out the heel, it's going to go a little left. That's exactly what Pierce's did. For that. And right at the toe That's there. Her. That's good, isn't it? Do you know what the problem is? He can't find the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I need to drill for that one. <laughs> so I think some a great drill there. Hopefully you guys have an understanding now of really what causes the sort of forward movements and, and sort of, you know, what can cause that heel strike. But I think you've got to start with a setup, getting yourself in a balanced position and then really training a more centered hit. And for you guys at home who, ha who don't even think about strike, give it a go and just see where your Definitely. ball is coming on the face. Identify where it's coming from. Definitely. For sure. Okay, there you have it. Some very simple ways there to help get that ball out the centre of the club face. So important. Guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the like button if you did. Post your comments down below. We'd love to get back to you. And also, guys, if you haven't actually subscribed already, it is for free and it allows you to interact with us. And also, for more great videos, guys, click on the link in the corner. It takes you straight to our website for lots more great content, including a four-part video series to turn your slice into a draw. Make sure you check it out, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.